Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite books. It's The Rocketeer Deluxe, The Complete Adventure by Dave Stevens. And uh, I love Dave Stevens' artwork. He's got like a very cool style, um, vintage looking style. He does, you know, when he draws females, it's kind of like in a uh, pinup style. So if you like that type of style, then you're going to like uh, Dave Stevens' artwork. So let's open up this book. Let's see what's on the back side real quick. So just uh, an illustration of the jetpack is on the, on the back side. So this is awesome. Look at all of this. Is this stuck here? What's going on with this? Okay. So there's the, um, the inner sleeve of the book there. Kind of a collage illustration. Really cool looking. You can already see how beautiful his artwork is. This was probably um, on the back of the book when it was shrink wrapped. This was probably on the inside of the shrink wrap and I probably put it you know, on the first page because I like to keep that stuff. So, so this is basically a compilation of the Rocketeer comic book and it's oversized. So, you know, it's a beautiful, a beautiful book. And this is more or less just going to be the whole comic book. So I'm going to just kind of go through it really quick and, you know, uh, we'll share some highlights like this right here. Beautiful il illustration of the uh, Rocketeer looking really cool flying here and here's Betty Page which is the uh, Rocketeer's girlfriend here I don't know if you guys saw the Disney movie the Rocketeer um, but you've got this uh, Betty Page like character in the movie as well so that's pretty cool and Dave Stevens the uh, creator of the Rocketeer and the illustrator here was friends with Betty Page and uh, he helped her out a lot from what I understand because back when uh, when she was still alive I guess a lot of people were making a lot of Betty Page merchandise like mugs and stuff like that keychains and and whatnot and um, she wasn't getting any money for that so Dave Stevens helped her out a lot so look at this amazing artwork just really gorgeous and in this oversized uh, hardbound uh, book you know the colors are just really popping I have some of the original issues of the Rocketeer but I don't have the whole set so if you do you're you're a pretty lucky person but if you like that retro style and you know kind of classic 1940s uh, noir type movies and whatnot, whatnot <laughs> then you're gonna love The Rocketeer. These are some of the covers of the books, of the comic books. Whoops. So. I know I'm going through this super fast but you know, I'll stop, stop and uh, slow down when I see something really cool and we can talk about it. So here they're kind of in a nightclub. Really cool illustration. The shading is really nice. Look at this awesome illustration of Betty Page and uh, these illustrations here as well. I would love to have like the original artwork of this page right here or this page here. It'd be great. I don't really think the uh, Disney movie did the uh, comic book justice. Like the comic book's pretty amazing looking. And I think the, the movie had a slower pace. Comes with this uh, ribbon bookmark. You know, you get this whole <clears throat> like Houdini sequence here. It's pretty cool. And kind of like circus type act stuff that's going on here. I 
love this spider web here. You know, it's all a throwback to like 1940s film noir. Like the shadow and the spider and you know, all of that like pulp fiction. That you can tell Dave Stevens really loved that stuff. If you didn't know, you know, he passed away quite a while ago. Um, I was lucky enough to get his uh, autograph on a few things before he passed away. Um, I love this type of stuff right here. You know, you see this stuff right here, uh, sketches, preliminary sketches. You even see Betty Page has, you know, her own Rocketeer outfit here that didn't come out in the book or, um, or the movie. And then you have a picture of Commando uh, Cody here uh, from the serial. I don't know what year that came out. Uh, let's see if it says it. Uh, this is crazy. It says to Dave. Uh, from one rocket man to another. That's really cool. <clears throat> but if you've you know seen any of those old uh, serial films, um, series like uh, Flash Gordon, Buck Rogers, you know, all of that stuff. That's that's basically what that is. It's really cool. I used to be really be hooked uh, on that stuff um, as a teenager. I still love it, but I haven't seen any in a really long time. And then you get some of the inked pages here. Really nice. And of course, you know, here's here's a page from the comic book before the colors get redone so you can tell just a, they, they put a lot of work into the colors for this book this is kind of you know my favorite part of of a book is seeing all this behind the scenes artwork A lot of artists draw with blue pencil because it's easy to kind of, you know, ink over and, um, you know, obviously when you, when you duplicate it, you don't see the blue uh, pencil. It, it kind of disappears and then you just get your inks over that stuff. So it's really cool. Here's some pictures of Betty Page. This opens up right here. Let me see. Okay. It goes this way. Oh, that's a really cool illustration. These are great. I wonder where all these pages are. Who owns all this stuff? So here's uh, Rocketeer Thrill Club. This is uh, 1990 it says here. This is a pin that they made for the movie. I have this pin. It's pretty cool. I think somebody's reproducing it now. I'm curious to see what the quality is. Because I know the, the, the pin that I have is, um, it's like a brass pin, so it's like a pretty solid pin. So I don't know if they're still doing that or if they're making something, you know, a lighter weight pin or something like that. You can see how he used certain people, you know, for models here. A lot of times it looks like he used himself see there wow look at this this is awesome his thumbnails are so uh, detailed so cool whoever put this book together just did a really really good job They put a lot of extras into it. They really knew what they were doing. <clears throat> you know, they really knew how to make the fans happy. Yeah, this is great. I love the pencils. The pencils are just so beautiful. This is awesome. 
he really had a knack for graphic design. You can see all these like graphic elements in the background and you know, giving it that like art deco kind of feel to it as well. Classic Rocketeer pose here. Different logos. So I'm not sure. I know this one obviously got used here. Uh, this was on the comic book. Um, I really like this one here with the rivets. That one's my favorite there. That's really cool. I don't know if that was used for something or not though. It's awesome. So I have this poster here. It's a pretty big poster and I have it signed by Dave Stevens. Really gorgeous poster. Fortunately, I don't have it up and framed. I just, I don't have any room for it right now. Looks like he was trying to figure out how to design the rocket pack here. And, you know, it looks like he really went for this like Flash Gordon type looking style. Um, of the Flash Gordon um, uh, spaceship. So it kind of has that kind of design to it. As you can see here, he went with, you know, a little bit of uh, more realistic looking uh, jetpacks here. And then here he just said, you know what, I'm gonna make this thing look like a rocket and went for it and really turned out well. This is beautiful. I love the images of the Rocketeer and Betty Page together. A picture of Dave Stevens and then uh, another image on the inside of the book is it the same image or is it I think it's different right oh yeah it's different that's so so cool so you get another large image illustration on the back it's really awesome and that's it guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time.